Hey YouTubers, it's me Jules again. Okay, I know that back in a previous video I said that True Colors was going to be the new episode, but it, it I just misread the episode guide. So sorry, I'm really, really, really sorry. I was just so psyched that Young Justice was back. So anyway, on to the review. Episode Cornered. Um, this was pretty much a filler episode. Um, it wasn't the best, but it was good enough. And also opened up in the the plot of the story um beetle and impulse i'm sorry they're just adorable pretty much just like before impulse is trying to protect beetle but instead of keeping the secret of the future beetle actually tells the league tells them what happens and even asks them to remove the beetle no matter what um this may have been a good thing or it could have been a bad thing it could have been a good thing because maybe by asking for their help and not keeping a secret he can actually find a way to prevent that future by actually removing it successfully but it could be a bad thing because like impulse said he could be right that maybe by telling the league this could have set you on the course of that apocalyptic future as the way he has seen it um pretty much it could be because by meddling with the blue beetle scarab um you could actually cause the thing to take on a life of its own again and actually you know betray you it's possible the thing is taken on the life of its own before and also its homicidal tendencies pretty much crazy people like it wants to kill the moment it senses a threat or in order to tie a loose end seriously it's almost creepy um as for mal duncan i feel so sorry for him bumblebee seriously does not want to spend time with him like it's almost like as if it's a failing relationship in this episode she was like throwing out excuses why she can't have her boyfriend live with him seriously b she just wants to live with you hit the his house blew up seriously show some sympathy for your boyfriend so that way he doesn't have to live in a crappy warehouse but also pretty much Mal got his little spotlight to up the ante. Most of the time he's just like sitting there and just coordinating and never on the field. But now he actually does get to be on the field. Back in season one, he was just a minor character. Even though they put him with the team and upped it a little, it wasn't that much. But now seeing an actual non-field agent actually be on the field, it's awesome. Even though he had this little bit of a cheesy dramatic moment, it was still kind of awesome. And how he took on Despero all by himself. As for the appearance of Static, I'm... Did anyone get the pun there? I felt like that was just a... Was it a coincidence? He said it was like a static shock? Oh my gosh, that is... They, the, I'm very sure that the... The writers just, that was on purpose. That was on purpose. That is on purpose. This proves it. They they included static to hook us in. And it's working. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was so funny. And as for Billy Batson right now, oh my gosh, he's just as adorable as Impulse. I'm sorry, but seriously, teenage Billy Batson is adorable. And he's still the bumbling kid as he always is. And I hope we get to see more of him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, that aside, um, the plot for the plot progression, you know, Meg actually, as an as seen in last episode, when she brain blasted Calder, now she sees the error of her ways. She knows that he's not a bad guy, and now she sees what she's doing is wrong. That's why she wasn't helping out in the battle with her telepathic ability. She could have brain blasted him. But no, she's feeling guilty because now she sees the error of her way. She sees the monster that she has become. I'm hoping that they'll work on that a little bit. Maybe she'll be a little bit hesitant still when using her telepathic attacks. Or maybe she won't after the little talk they ha she has with Connor. And hopefully I'm betting she'll understand on what where Superboy is coming from, that he feels violated because of what he, what she did to his mind, tried to do to him, and also she'll see that how Superboy views her whenever she abuses those abilities. So pretty much she'll learn. As for the Reach, oh my gosh. It was never really established that the Watchtower was secret to the public, 
but pretty much the Reach actually throwing hits at the League without even blasting them at all was pretty genius. And also, they don't have any real evidence on the Reach, so they're pretty much getting screwed every day. I would suggest just staying away from the Reach and avoiding the media as much as possible, especially Godfrey. Oh my gosh, I hate him! I have a feeling that he's on the Reach's side, considering that in the comic books, Godfrey is actually a new god on Apocalypse's side. On Darkseid's side. So pretty much, he could just be doing this as usual, trying to downplay the Justice League as much as he possibly can, and oh my gosh, his voice is annoying. I'm sorry, please have there be an episode where we see Gottfried as he really is, a monster. But anyway, and I'm also like really sad that, oh no, not again, not the Hall of Justice, I know it was just a tourist attraction, but no, are we gonna do this every time? We're gonna, what's next, the Watchtower's gonna fall from the sky? No, not again! But anyway, I'm very sure they'll still be able to operate. Hopefully the basement isn't too banged up. Because it'll be just sad seeing them actually operate from that dingy warehouse. Or maybe they'll use the the watchtower in the future. I don't know. And on final note, um, Despero... Okay, um, I understand that Despero loves a fight, but I don't know. They kind of downplayed it a little bit. Despero's more into, like, gaining slaves and, you know, making his own empire throughout the galaxy. He's, but in this one, they made him like a gladiator. Okay, I, I can admit, since this was just like a filler episode, that's fine. But it just feels, I don't know. I, he's menacing. He's seriously menacing. But I don't get the same feeling as before when reading him. Oh, well. Oh, well. What are you going to do with a filler episode? Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review. And please join me again for my next review on True Colors, episode 12 of season 2. I hope you all enjoyed the new episode. See ya. Bye.